Hey what's up guys, this is the student cook and today I'm going to show you 6 different ways how to make creamy crunchy bubble potato pillows. So let's get started. First of all we need some potatoes, we're going to cut into them. We'll approximately need 6 potatoes for all the different potato pillows we're going to make. To cook the potatoes we first of all have to add boiling water to a pot and then salt it with about uh, 5 to 7 grams of salt and let the salt dissolve. After we've done that we're going to add our medium sized potatoes. I use 6 potatoes but it depends how many pillows you want to make. And also depending on the size of the potatoes we are going to cook them for 15 minutes if they are smaller and 20 to 25 minutes if we have bigger potatoes. After about 20 minutes we're going to remove our potatoes and place them into a large bowl that is filled with cold water, in the best case scenario also ice water because if the water is really cold we can easily remove the skin from the potatoes and it makes the peeling process much easier. Now add your potatoes and leave them in for a few minutes. This will stop the cooking process and now you should be able to remove the skin easily. Now remove the skin from all your potatoes and continue to the next step. We're going to make two different types of dough, so place half of the potatoes in one pot and the other half in another bowl. We're now going to press our potatoes really finely with a potato press. You can also do that with a fork, but try to make it as fluffy as possible with the potato mesh it's obviously going to be fluffier and afterwards the result will be better. To the first dough we will add 3 tablespoons of glutinous rice flour and 2 tablespoons of cornstarch. We're also going to add half a tablespoon of salt. Now mix everything together with your hands and try to get it as fine as possible and all the ingredients should be mixed together really well. Now divide your dough into two even pieces and form it just as shown in the video. Be very gentle with the dough because it might break easily because of the cornstarch and the flour that we added. After the forming process we're going to use a sharp knife and divide the dough into even small pieces and afterwards use a fork and press it into the dough to get that typical crunchy pillow potato shape. Now repeat that with all your pieces and you're done with the first dough. Now moving on to the second dough, we're again going to need half of the potatoes which is going to be 400 to 450 grams. Now press it through our potato press. Instead of adding rice flour we're now going to add a tablespoon of normal flour and afterwards season it with some pepper and half a tablespoon of salt as well. Now I'll also add one medium sized egg which should ideally be at room temperature which makes it easier to incorporate into our dough. Now mix everything together really well with your hands, add some additional flour in order for the dough not to stick to your hands and also divide it into two even pieces and form it just as shown in the video. The next step is again going to be to cut the dough into smaller pieces and then repeat the same procedure as with the other dough and press in your fork to get that typical crunchy pillow shape. We're now finished with the forming process and we can now cook our potato pillows. We're going to use three different methods to cook our potato pillows. The first method is going to be to bake them. Add about half of your two types of potato pillows to a baking tray and add some olive oil and place in a preheated oven for about 20 minutes. The second method is going to cook them in salt water. Lightly salt your water and when it's cooking we are only going to add the potato pieces we made with eggs because those will hold together in the water. After a few minutes our potato pillows should swim on the surface which means they are ready very gentle because they might break easily. For the last step we're going to add some butter and some fresh basil and that's the first type. Third and last method is going to be frying. We're going to add heat resistant oil to a pan and heat it up 
Pay attention for the oil to be hot enough, otherwise your potato pillows might not get crunchy or suck up too much oil. We're now going to add the first potato pillows and bake them for a few minutes until golden brown. Now remove the potato pillows from your oil and you have the next type of potato pillows. If you fry them twice they might get crunchier but even after the first frying process they are really good. These potato pillows I use the dough without the eggs. The next method is going to be to fry them twice. We are always going to use the dough without the eggs and fry them once, get them out of the pan, let them cool down and then fry them a second time which will make for a much crunchier and richer color when we fry them the second time. When the potato pillows have achieved a deep golden brown color, we're again going to remove them from the pan and there you have it, your next type of potato pillows. These potato pillows are definitely the crunchiest ones because we fried them twice. Now we're going to use our other type of dough where we use the eggs and fry those. When they have achieved a golden color removed from the pan, And there we have our next type of potato pillows. In my opinion, those were the best ones because they add, added some extra flavor. We're now going to remove our potato pillows from the oven. The first ones are those without the egg and the second ones are those where we use the rice flour. In my opinion, those with eggs were always better since the egg added some extra flavor. But all in all, I can safely say that all crunchy potato pillows were really good. And there you have it six ways of making crunchy potato pillows. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.